if 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power s is equal to 36 raised to power s what is the value of s hi everyone welcome to my class in today's class we want to find the value of s from this given exponential equation 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power s is equal to 36 raised to power s but before we proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you solution we have the given equation 49 raised to power s minus 42 raised to power of s is equal to 36 raised to power of s then if you look at this equation very well 49 is a perfect square 36 is also a perfect square but 42 is not a perfect square what do we do next let's divide both sides by 36 raised to the power of x that is we have 49 raised to the power x divided by 36 raised to the power of s minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of s is equal to 36 raised to the power of s divided by 36 raised to the power of x then this one will cancel this which is 1 now we have 49 raised to the power of s divided by 36 raised to the power of x minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of x is equal to 1. Then 49 is a perfect square, which is 7 square, then raised to the power of x, divided by 36 is also a perfect square, which is 6 square, raised to the power of x, minus 42 raised to the power of x divided by 36 raised to the power of s is equal to 1. Then remember if you have a raised to the power of n raised to the power of m is simply as a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n which is called what a raised to the power of n multiplied by m therefore this become 7 divided by 6 raised to the power of s then all square minus 42 now then for 6 goes in 36 that is 6 6 raised to the power of s then since in 42 that is 7 raised to the power of x which is equal to 1 then we have 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of s all square minus 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of s is equal to 1 then this can be expressed as 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of s all square minus 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0 now let let 7 divided by 6 raised to the power of s is equal to t therefore our equation become t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0 
This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. That is, a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Therefore, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to minus 1. Now, let's substitute. We have t is equal to our minus, minus into b is minus 1, minus 1 plus or minus square root of b is what? Minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then we have t is equal to minus times minus 1, that is plus 1, plus or minus square root of minus 1 square, that is 1. Then we have minus 4 times 1, times minus 1, that is plus 4, divided by 2 times 1, 2. Then we have t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4, that is 5, divided by 2. Therefore, we have t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5, divided by 2. This is a golden ratio. Or t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Or this is less than 0. We reject it. The only true value of t is t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. But we said 7 divided by 6, all raised to power s is equal to t. And t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Therefore, we have 7 divided by 6, all raised to power of s is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, let's take the log of both sides. We have log 7 divided by 6 all raised to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Then we have s log 7 divided by 6 is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, let's divide both sides by log 7 divided by 6. Then this is S log 7 divided by 6 divided by log 7 divided by 6 is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, divided by log 7, divided by 6. Then this one will cancel dx. S is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5, which is divided by 2, which is a good ratio, divided by log 7 divided by 6 that is the value of x you may also write it in this form we have s is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 then base 7 divided by 6 
if you have enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you